Going to be replacing the spider bracket on this Samsung washing machine. These are all pretty much the same and this bracket in the back will just corrode because it's exposed to the water. And after 10 years or so, it's going to fail. And uh, here's what it looks like. It's got a um, polished piece here that's going to spin on a bearing. And what happens is these pieces here just corrode and just literally fall apart. And they go to your exit drain, which has a thing to crunch up the debris and it gets stuck. Um, these bolt in with six bolts that you're also gonna be all rusted out and have to replace. So when you buy this, there's a kit of bolts, you're gonna need two. Uh, but really the, the big task is just taking everything apart in the middle of the machine, the whole barrel has to come out to replace this. So a lot of mechanics or appliance repair folks, they don't wanna do it, it's a long job. Usually you're just cheaper to buy your own machine again, new. Um, but for the price of these parts in just a couple hours of my time, I should be able to have this like new when it's finished. So here we go. This bolt on the back here, you might need to use an impact wrench, but I was able to do it with the socket wrench by just banging it a couple times because it can be a problem when the drum rotates and it's hard to get that bolt started to get it loosened up. Pulling this disc off is a little tricky. It's magnetic, so it's gonna to try to cling. So you just gotta to try to wiggle it straight out without damaging any of those magnets. And then here as well, you've got several bolts. You need a 10 millimeter uh, with an extension. You don't wanna bang up any of those uh, coils or any of that copper wiring. And there's a couple electrical plugs that you'll need to, uh, to remove at the bottom here. Be careful, these can be brittle. And remove this little clamp here. Like that, pull this off. And we're gonna remove this hose here, put this here. Push down on here, take out the whole tray. Now we're gonna take off uh, these screws here and remove the control panel. All the electrical plugs have a little plastic Hang that holds it locked in place. So you're gonna to wanna to squeeze that in order to open them. You might have to use a screwdriver for some that are stubborn. Again, be careful, these are plastic. You don't wanna break them. You got three bolts on the front that hold the door switch. Now we're gonna remove the metal strap that holds the rubber boot in place on the outside of the machine. At the bottom, you're gonna see this spring you can just pry that out with a screwdriver and then pull the whole cable out. And then you can loosen up the rubber boot. It just is in a uh, little channel there around that plastic front end. You've got four screws at the top and two screws at the bottom that'll allow you to remove the front door. There's another uh, metal cable around the rubber boot that goes on the drum on the inside. You're gonna need to loosen this with a screwdriver and then again, pry that metal wire out. It'll just pop off with the rubber boot. There's another hose at the top left corner there. Then you're gonna to wanna to work on the weights. These are heavy, so be careful. Um, they got a 13 millimeter bolt holding those in place. After that, there's a wiring harness that goes down on the right side, as well as a hose connection at the very bottom. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew that, undo this latch, and pull that off. Right underneath, you've got the uh, heating element. There's three connections there. You're gonna wanna unplug those. Then head over to the back and undo the drain at the bottom. Uh, mine had water in it, so be careful. You're gonna need to just unthread this clamp, pull it down. You can see the water coming out of mine. 
There's another end here going into the pump. Could disconnect that. And if you've got any chunks of metal in here, this is where you'll find them that may have fallen down from your old spider arm. Now we're gonna undo the shock absorbers. There's four of them. And at this point, the only thing holding the barrel up are the two springs on top. To get the first spring, you need to loosen the soap dispenser and move that out of the way. Then you can get at the spring, but you're gonna have to lift up the barrel uh, in order to pull the spring straight up and off the side of the machine. And then you can disconnect it from the barrel and just hook it back on the side of the machine again so you don't lose it. Same thing on the other side, just try to lift that barrel up, um, remove the spring from the side of the washing machine, and then uh, when you let it down, you can remove it from the barrel and just hook it there on the side so you don't lose it. Before you, you drop the second spring, make sure that you don't forget to untie this hose. It connects into the soap dispenser, and I forgot to do that, and it kind of got hung on there for a little bit, but just pinch this and take that off, then take off your two springs. Now, getting the barrel out of the machine frame is tricky just because it's a real tight fit, uh, but you just might have to rotate it a little bit uh, in order to get it out. And uh, don't forget, there are electrical cables the back there that there's three screws that you'll need to undo and then un disconnect that wiring harness and now you've freed the barrel from the rest of the machine at this point so now the tub's out i've got it on a little box here because you've got that shaft sticking down but i want to set it up so i can get to these bolts so there's bolts all the way around the outside edge here these are 10 millimeters again you're going to need to loosen all those bolts and then the top half is going to come off Here's the rubber seal between the two halves. You're gonna to wanna to replace this when you do this job as well. And that is a destroyed spider arm. You can see that this one started to just lose hunks of it in here but it was still holding together, so it was out of balance, but it probably wasn't too bad that it wasn't workable. But as these chunks of metal continue to go through the drain and get jammed, that's where you notice the problem. So a lot of times you notice that this needs to be fixed only because it won't drain and because that pump down there won't evacuate the water because it's got chunks of metal stuck in it. Now we're gonna try to get a uh, 10 millimeter on these to get these bolts out and remove it from the drum, hopefully. And what you're gonna find is that these bolts don't all survive. Some of them, the heads will break right off. That's just fine. It'll still let you get the arm out.
I'd recommend replacing the rubber gasket in between the two sides of the drum just so you're, um, you're safe. If this is an old machine, then that might have dried up. You don't want to have a leak. The replacement arm should just slide into place. Uh, when I got two of the arms in, I just had to tap the third one to make it fall down into its spot. And then you'll need to replace all the bolts, so make sure you order the replacement bolts. Uh, they come in a pack of six, and they come already with the Loctite on them, so when you put these in, they won't loosen up. And then the uh, drum goes together just like it came apart. You're gonna use those 10 millimeter bolts all around to secure the two halves together. Make sure you don't pinch that rubber seal. And we're gonna put the drum back into the machine and then hook up the two springs. That'll be the first thing you do and get it suspended by those two springs. And you can reconnect the soap dispenser now that that first spring is put back. Don't forget to replace that rubber hose. There's one on the front there, and there's that one on the bottom. I forgot to film connecting the second spring, but it was the same as the first. And then you're gonna go into reapplying your shocks. So now you'll support the drum from down below on all four corners. And you get your final shock here from the back door on this side here. And you're gonna reconnect that line that runs along the right side there and connect that rubber hose into that connection point on the bottom. All right, put this door boot seal on. You're gonna need to look. The bottom's gonna have the drain. Right there. Got your drain. So that's gonna go down. And then at 12 o'clock, that would be about the center here. You're gonna look at about 11 o'clock. You're gonna see these two little ears, little cat ears popping up pieces of rubber. These are your guides. On your washer, there's a screw here and a screw here. And you're gonna line up these two to point at those washers, at those screws. And then when those are lined up there, you're gonna take that outer lip and you're gonna wrap it all around this lip here. And that's centered for the washing uh, boot here. You're gonna need to put it on those ears and point those right at those screws. And then you're gonna to wanna to just follow the boot all the way around that outside rim. And here's a view, you can see the two screws, one there, one there, and you can see the little cat ear pointing at each of those. That's where you want it to be lined up. Now we're gonna put our cable back on to retain the boot onto the barrel here. 
Gonna make sure we put this right about the 12 o'clock position and then align this metal wire in that groove all the way around the outside edge. It will sit down right inside that. Just push it in as you go around. You're going to reattach your weights on the front. Those use those same uh, 13 millimeter bolts. And your front door can go back in, slide it into those tabs at the bottom. Uh, you can move the door latching hardware to the side there and then go in before you put the rubber seal in. You can reach it, line it up in the right spot. Now we'll put the rubber seal in. Pretty easy uh, as well, easier than I expected. Now I gotta put this other wire on here. Remember this has a spring and it goes at the bottom in the six o'clock position. The retaining wire in that spring, it's not that hard to put in, but it did pop out on me a few times. Uh, so you just gotta work it. And then I used a screwdriver at the end just to tuck in the spring on the bottom. And you've got your four screws to put in across the top here and then plug back in all of the electrical harness into your control panel. And four more screws across the top. And reattach this uh, air relief hose at the top and attach the bracket. And put your soap dispenser back in. Uh, fit the top back on and screw it down. And then back underneath, we're gonna reattach the drain hose with that metal clamp. You're gonna screw that in place with a screwdriver and attach the other end to your pump. This is your, uh, your water exit pump. Got three screws here, one for ground and two to hold this wiring harness and then plug these electrical connectors in around the drive motor. Here we're gonna replace all those 10 millimeter bolts. Make sure you don't bang the plastic here or the copper windings. And then we're gonna reattach our uh, magnetic cover there and put your bolts back on there with the lock washer and then hit it with an impact wrench or with a socket to get that thing tightened up. Slide that back cover in, tuck it in at the top and then slide down to the bottom and two screws. Plug it in, hook up your water lines and get it back in place. Hey, so there you go. Got it all put back together. Doing the first wash here, just testing it out, check for any leaks. Uh, but as you can see, this whole job took me about four hours start to finish. It went back together quicker than it came apart, I would say. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little more challenging with the rubber boot, getting that to mount, but that really wasn't bad at all. So I would definitely recommend if you're having a problem with one of these and that's the issue, it's very doable not a super complicated thing you just got to take a lot of pieces off to get that drum out uh, but putting in the new replacement part and putting it back together really wasn't a big trouble so hey, i hope this was helpful and uh and if you're taking this journey that this helped you out have a great day